All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying Barakatheya Hawa, Barakatheya Hawa Shai, Barakatheya Hawa, Barakatheya Hawa Shai, Barakatheya Hawa, Barakatheya Hawa Shai, Call Hala Yahawa, Basham Yahawa Shai, Basham Raka Kwadash. Double honor to the apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, who rule well and who taught me this truth. And a shalom to you, Sincere Akiam, out there listening and learning and pushing this truth. And a shalom to the few Sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to rot the za, it'll be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And man, oh man, is it beautiful times, beautiful times that we're living in, man. Like I always say, beautiful times for the elect, horrific times for the two-thirds of you. Horrific times for the heathens, and horrific times for the two-thirds of you. Because as you can see on the screen, our power, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, he's coming, man. Our redemption is nigh, and it will be known who the Lord is dealing with. It's going to be evident in that day, okay? Beautiful times, man, beautiful times. Um... Hold on, Salaki. So let me. I had a couple scriptures. I wanted to do this lesson the other day, but you know it was storming and shit. So I'm doing it now. All right. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna read all of this because there's so much that's going on. You can't even keep up, man. Um, you got the IUIC. <laughs> um, I saw that the brothers was talking about. Um, everybody's going into the Karagma now. Okay, it's being evident. It's being made. Um, it's on the forefront. Why? Because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is about to withdraw his men. He's about to lock this truth down. And um, the word is going out. Okay. There's no cloak for your sins. You know, beautiful times, man. Beautiful times. All of you that are, that are playing games half ass, trying to run game on the Lord. The Lord sees you, man. He sees every one of you that are not sincere. You know, the Lord sees you. And the Lord sees the sincere Akiam and Akwath. And he's going to be with us. He's with us now. He's always with us. <laughs> All right. The Lord loves his elect. He loves his chosen, man. We're the hopeful elect. We hope we're, we're part of that number. That's why we give diligence, you know, but the Lord is going to magnify his men in those times. You know, it's, got, it's beautiful times, exciting times, <laughs> as the dude said in the matrix, exciting times, you know, you know, so um, matter of fact, let me start with this one here. Uh, this is uh, Psalms 91 and 10. It says, uh, the, um, I'll start at eight. It says, because thou has made the Lord Yahweh, which is my refuge, even the most high, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, thy habitation. That's what, that's who we trust in. That's who we, um, you know, that's what we're, we're, we're looking for new heavens and new earth where dwelleth righteousness. You know, we're seeking the kingdom and then we're hoping for everything else to be added unto us. All right. You know, while everyone else is, is, um, in the world, preoccupied with things in the world what what are we constantly doing we're sighing and crying for all the abominations done therein we're trying to offend less you see we're feeding the lord's sheep you know <laughs> we're doing what the lord asks us, asked of us to the best of our ability all right so because we've been doing this sincerely and diligently guess what the lord is with us and he's going to continue to be with us i don't want to out we be of that number and it's going to be evident in that day all right. So it says, because thou hast made the Lord Yahweh, which is my refuge, even the most high, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee. Because that's what times are coming into. Evil times, as you can see. The Lord is judging the world. He's visiting the world that he made. All these plagues, these hurricanes, these storms, these earthquakes, you know, these are scourges that are sent for amendment. But the but the wicked, they're not gonna they're not gonna turn from their wickedness. All right, they're not gonna repent. Only the elect are gonna take heed. And because we are, guess what? It says, There shall no evil befall thee. I was talking to the brother and <laughs> we were laughing about it. We were we were, we were in the midst of the storm <laughs> laughing, you know. The because you, your pain <laughs> is brings joy to us, man. All right. The, the, we're in the times that we've been looking for. You know, I I can't wait for you people to get a reality check because you don't know the Lord. A lot of you don't know the Lord. You think you, you have a false, you have a misconception of the Lord and you think the Lord is dealing with you despite you having no works. Okay. 
Faith without works is dead. I show you my faith by my works. Faith being alone is dead. Okay? You see? That's why the Lord is going to be with us, first and foremost, because we've been storing up these righteous acts. And not just the, the men, the prophets, but the, even the believers. You have to have works also. You have to be trying to offend less. Okay? And so it says, There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. And man, did we see it during this hurricane, man. <laughs> I'm looking at my, um, my, my feed. Everybody's catching hell, you know. But guess what? The Lord protected us, as he always has. The Lord's will, he, we, we keep enduring. He'll, he'll keep that hedge around us, that the wah. And in that time to come, he's going to magnify us. He's going to magnify his men. Okay, it says, for he shall give his, it's a, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy way. Okay, because what the angels of the Lord encampeth around them that fear him. And that's what it, it starts with the fear. A lot of you don't know the Lord who the Lord loveth thee chasteneth. We catch hell. <laughs> so the Lord, that's the, that's your, how, but you how shy's way of keeping us on that straight path to the kingdom. A lot of you are, aren't, you know, or or you're being you're being chastised, but you don't understand because the scriptures say evil men understand not judgment. We understand what time it is. We understand the Lord. We have the mind of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, and therefore knowing the terror of the Lord, we know who we're dealing with. He's an austere man. He he's a terrible demon-like power. He's not to be played with. Okay. Therefore, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. That's why we go hard. We go hard in the paint. All right, because in the times to come, we're going to need that protection. But a lot of you are playing games, but you ain't deceiving nobody but yourself. OK. And, and man, we saw it, man. The Lord was with us, man. <laughs> Nothing, no evil, no nigh came near us, man. OK. You know, that's why we go hard. That's why we go out every week diligently. We do these video epistles. First and foremost, to, to exhort you, to exhort you sincere Akim and Akwaf to keep pushing. We're close and to get the blood off our hands because we're dealing with a just power, a righteous power. In order for him to bring this to in order for him to bring this destruction, guess what? He has to warn you. And the Lord, nine times out of ten, he, he speaks through men. He also shows you things, you know, but but the, the mouthpiece of the men, the flock of the Lord's pasture are men. And the Lord loves his men, his elect men. He said, them are mine or mine are thine. None are lost. Okay. The Lord is going to be with us, man. Okay. That's our faith. Look at that. One, four, four. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. Second Ezra, 16 to 73. Matter of fact, the whole chapter is good. We know it. But the main point is in 73. Because a lot of you playing game, Paul, Kersey, all of you are playing games, man. This word has gone out. How long has elder apostles, Tahar and the other elders and all the bishops and all the other men been singing the same sound doctrine? You know, with all the scoffers, the naysayers, the Lord is about to withdraw his men. OK, that 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 storm is on the horizon. You go. It's going to be evident. The stock market, the, the economy is crashing all around you. Hey, uh, uh, Putin, Putin's on his last, you know, <laughs> that. Nord Stream was damn near the, the, the straw that broke the camel's back. You know, it, it, it's go time, baby. The, we at the end of the fiscal year. OK, all hell is it's going to be a dark winter. I I, I feel through the spirit. It's going to be a dark winter. Yahweh yeah, Shimei Yahweh Shai is truly turning up. You know, Jacob's trouble is on the horizon. The hour of temptation is on the horizon. The infrastructure is laid. The infrastructure's laid, it's been laid, and you people are ripe for the slaughter, okay? But like Elder Apostle Tahar said, <laughs> Salaki, this, um, this third's woe is not going to take place until the Karagma is made mandatory. And he's not going to make this Karagma mandatory until all hell breaks loose. And that's going to be the fix. And a lot of you are going to fold like a cheap lawn chair. You're going to fold because you have no faith. That's the that's one of the main things I wanted to go into, because you see the Karagma is hot and heavy for, in the forefront. Everything is coming to a head. All roads are leading to the Karagma. And 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 um, matter of fact, I'll come back to this last. Right. 
because this was in my mind, man, you know, because I wanted to do this. I had a couple of scriptures I had for in regard to that whole Karag. Oh, what if they hold you down and shove the Karagma in you? First and foremost, you don't understand the Lord. You don't understand what times you're in. OK, Esau, Edom in this new world order. He, he no, you got to be complicit. This, the Lord ain't trying to trick you, man. You, you it ain't no gray areas like the brothers were saying. You you either over here or you over there. Okay? Esau don't want nobody. You know, he wants um what's the word? He wants uh willing participants. Okay? You're gonna take that chip willingly. You people gonna line up to take it. You're gonna flop, you're gonna just like you ran to get them jabs, you're gonna run to get that karagma in you. And then he also has that that exterminate list, <laughs> that red list. Okay, the men he knows. He's got the AI, he's got the agents. He knows who the men of the Lord are. He knows who the true believers are. He knows who's watching your videos, like I said. I've been to video, videos on that before. Uh, that's why you got to sign in. That's why they made the videos. You got to be 18. You got you to make an account so you can track everything. Even if you're watching, you know, incognito. <laughs> no, no joke, no pun intended. If you, you, you think you're slick, you're watching... You making fake screen names, you whatever you doing, the Lord Esau, the Lord sees you, and, and and Esau sees you, and in that time he gonna come get you, man. He don't want no no detractors in this new world order, okay? You see, he ain't gonna show, he gonna he ain't not gonna hold you down there and put no damn. If you resist, then he gonna kill you. He gonna torture you and he gonna kill you. That's the time we're coming into. The ones you that have that marking, you will be destroyed. Per Revelation fourteen and nine. The ones you that take that karagma, that MOTB, you will be destroyed because there is no cloak for your sins. The Lord is tired. Of, he's weary of repenting. The Lord ain't playing games with y'all, man. Y'all playing games. It's evident. The evidence is overwhelming. All right. This doctrine is sound. It's bulletproof. It's, it's sound doctrine. You can't resist nor gainsay it. OK, because it's the truth. These aren't our words. We're just the, we're just the, the mouthpiece of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And in that day, you're going to know. You're going to know who the men of the Lord were. You're going to know what we were. You're going to know. But it's going to be too late for, for some of you, for two-thirds of you. Because you refuse to repent. This is Mark um, 8 and 35. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And a lot of you are going to look to save your life. Just like General Johannes said, you're going to want to eat. You're going to want to feed your family. And also, at the end of the day, you lack faith. You're faithless. You are that faithless, perverse generation. You don't really believe. All right? There is a little bit of leaven, leaven the whole lump. You got to believe the whole truth. And a lot of you are wishy-washy. You believe this, but you don't believe that. Because you don't really believe. But in that day, you're going to believe all of it. You know? But it's going to be too late. The Lord ain't going to be that. He ain't going to put that spirit on you. The spirit of the Lord is going to have to be with you to resist that devil. To, to you know. To, re, to resist the wiles of the devil. Okay. Serious times we're entering into. We're all going to be tried. That's the that's the beauty of your how Shai. how shy. Okay. He's righteous and just. You're not. It, it, you, only one man. That, that, that path to the kingdom is a straight gate. Only one man can tread it at a time, okay? We all going to have to, you're going to have to stand on that square. You've been here before. And the proof is in the pudding. We're all going to have to give an account for the things we've been doing in our body, whether they be good or bad. And the ultimate test, the ultimate trial, because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai loves testing people. That's what he's about. You got to prove yourself. Talk is cheap. All that faith, oh, the, hey man, the, we're coming into the time where it's going, you know, the, the camera's about to be shut off, you know, it's going to be, it's going, it's about to get real, man, real nasty, and we're going to see who believes and who doesn't, we're going to see who the Lord is with and who he's not, and in the day of power, guess what, our people will be willing, because this truth has gone out, they've heard this word, they know about the men of the Lord. Mark 8 and 35, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. A lot of you going to look to save your life. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, because that's what it's about. It's about how much you have word words. It's about being obedient unto death. 
Okay? For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. Okay? That's the, that's the point. Shalaki, that's the point. Um, This is Revelation. Um, Kind of all over the place, but, you know, it is what it is. A lot of things been on my mind, you know. I couldn't do a couple lessons, and, you know, a lot of things, it was piling up. <laughs> I got to get it off. But the main point is, hey, we're coming into the time where the Lord is going to be, he gonna, man, we're going to, hey, through great tribulation, we're going to enter into the kingdom. Ain't none of you sliding into the kingdom. Ain't none of us sliding into the kingdom, okay? You're going to be tried. You're going to be tested beyond you ever been tested. And guess what? <laughs> right now, we know the Lord is with us, but in that time, the seed might take the spirit from you. You might feel his presence leave you, just like just as it did Yahushai Hamashiach. He prayed to the Lord three times to take that cup from him. All right, because the Lord is going, He's going to see what you're about. He's going to test. We're going, we we're going to be tried beyond imagination, and that's why we go hard because we, you know, we need we need that man's goings of the Lord. How then can a man understand his own way? We need the Lord to <laughs> to be with us in that time, man. The times are come. Revelation 2 and 10, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. We already know that. Some of us are going to be martyrs, all right? Some of us are going to be headed, you know? Some of us are going to be tortured, you know? Why? Because, because of this word, this gospel, okay? And also, we're going to resist that mark unto death. Because like I said, he ain't going to put it in you unless you willingly accept it, Okay? Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried. Our temptation. Tested. You're going to have to prove it. Prove it. The proof is in the pudding. You know? And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death. That's the main point. If you got to lose your life, so be it. You know? <laughs> Slock it. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. And that's what we're looking for. You know, we're looking for Yahweh to put uh, palms, crowns on our heads, man. You know, the men that Ezra saw, you know, that stood so stiffly. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh, we know Mark 13 and 3, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Because a, a lot of our own people are going to turn on us in that day, man. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a sad day, a lot of betrayal, a lot of heartbreak. You got a lot of agents, a lot of spies, a lot of infiltrators, you got a lot of demon, a lot of wicked amongst my people are found wicked men. There's a lot of wicked men in Israel. It's gonna be evident in that day. But also, whoever the Lord is with, you're gonna see he's gonna protect them. He's gonna protect them. Okay. It says, And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So you gotta endure all the way to the end, even if even if it's death. So be it. So be it. Matthew 24 and 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved, because we're not saved yet. The summer is past, the harvest is ready, and we are not yet saved. We are yet this day in captivity. We haven't even gone through our greatest trial yet. Okay. But guess what? The Lord is gonna be with his men. He's gonna be with, you know. The sincere Akim and Akwaf, the believers. Okay? This, there's a there's a, a numerable multitude of believers, men, women, and children. But the but the, it starts with the men, the servants, the prophets. They're back. <laughs> Why? Because we're at the end. The Lord always sent his men out there to warn you before the before the destruction. Okay? Always. Because he's a righteous power. 1 Thessalonians uh, 4 and 16. For the Lord out of one himself will descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of Yahweh and the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. So if you, all the men that died in this truth, Abba, you know, all the men that died but before, you know, you got Yaquab, all the men that died before, a lot of men died in this truth. Like I said, a lot of the 144,000, the men, they, they're, they're, they're in the spirit world, man. A lot of us are on the earth still, but some of us in the spirit world, you know, you know, and what did the Lord said? And the dead and the ones that died in this truth, guess what? They going to rise first. 
the ones of us that are, that got beheaded in them concentration camps that gave up out that you know that died in this in this truth we're gonna rise first that's if you die in this truth guess what that's a first class ticket to the kingdom you know <laughs> you know and that that's that's a hey, it's no excuses you gotta lose your life so be it but a lot of you are faithless you're that faithless and perverse generation you don't really tr believe everything you read you looking for loopholes. Ain't no loopholes with your but you know. A lot of you are looking for fucking loopholes, man. Because you're wicked. Ain't no loopholes here, man. This shit is plain as day. And man, the Lord loves his elect. He loves his men. He loves his, you know, he loves his the believer. He loves him. How about you? He can't wait because that's how he's going to show his power. You know? Our salvation is there, man. And they're not going to believe it. The strangeness of our salvation, they're not going to believe it. A lot of us going to get that spiritual power, you know? We're going to be healing. We're going to be fucking shit up, you know? <laughs> oh, man. And Esau knows it. He's been keeping tabs. He know who can't take a bribe. He know who's unbribable, who ain't going to take the bag. Why? Because your actions, even the ones you that are faithfully watching, he knows. He sees you. <laughs> he sees what you're watching. He sees where your, where your heart is. He sees... Where all your energy is going. He sees it. He knows. He knows who's sincere. He knows who's playing games. So does Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? But like I said, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai loves his elect. He, he going to see it in that day. He can't wait. He going to stunt. He going to stunt for us, man. He going to show out for us. Just as he's been showing out. Okay? This is Luke. Uh, straight to the point. I don't want to make it long. Too long. Luke 18 and 7. And shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect? Because that's what it's all about, the elect. That's all we care about, the elect. The electos, the chosen. Many are called for your chosen. We're, we're hoping to be chosen. That's why we give diligence to make our calling and election sure. All right? And we got to endure to the end. Our redemption is nigh, baby. Victory is nigh. And shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him? Because we got faith, but guess what? We got works also. <laughs> I show you my faith by my works. Believe me, like Yahweh should I said, believe me for the work's sake. We ain't just doing, you, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a method to our madness, man. The foolishness of preaching to save them that believed. All right, in that day, you're going to know who the Lord is dealing with. You're going you gonna to remember. You're going to remember these epistles. You're going to remember. You're going to remember that we told, we warned you about the MOTB. We went, you're going to remember we said this devil is going to show his horns. You're going to remember when all hell is breaking loose. What did it say? As if a man did run from a, 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 a bear and a lion met him and put his hand on the wall and then a serpent bit him. It's going to be one calamity after another. And you're going to come to the realization that this is coming from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is judgment of the Lord. All manner of hell is about to break loose. This whole society, this world around the world is about to collapse. Okay. Um, it says, and, I, and she shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him. Sigh and cry for all the abominations done therein. We ain't have, we hate this fucking place, man. We're hastening the coming of the Lord. We're looking for the Lord. We're sighing day and night, you know, begging for, put, begging Yahweh, but Yahweh shall to destroy this place. While, while half of you playing fucking games, you only remember the Lord when you're catching hell. You know, when, when shit ain't going your way, that's when you want to call on the Lord. Now, we call on the Lord even when things are going perfect. You know, we put curses on this bitch daily, multiple times a day. Because we, we serious about this shit, man. And shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect, which cried day and night unto him, though he bear long with him? I tell you, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily, quickly. The Lord going to redeem us quickly, man. Soon as Esau, that's why he ain't pushed the button yet. He's scared. Soon as he pushed the button, he know Yahweh Bashim Shai going to lift up that standard. He know that's his ass. And that's why he's crossing all the T's, dotting all the I's. But guess what? Yahweh Bashim Shai is forcing his hand. He's shortening the days for the elect's sake. Can't you see time is speeding up? We at the end of the year already. We at the end of the fiscal year. We at the end of this fiscal year, and you about to see that 
that uh, the economy that all these companies been taking else. All these companies been taking else. They about to, the grinding is about to get low again. It's about to get it's about it's about to be no work for Egypt. We in we in beautiful times, man. Beautiful times. Hyperinflation is setting in. Hey, this storm that fucked a uh, Florida up. Guess what? A lot of a lot of cars are fucking flooded. That means you got to get a new car. The car, hey, CarMax just collapsed. You know, you know, you where you gonna get a car from? You got to get a new car. And guess what? Now you got to get payments. And guess what? The rates, the interest rates is through the roof. You, 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 your house got destroyed, flooded out. You got to make an insurance claim. Guess what? The insurance claim is through the roof. Your your, your premiums about to go through the roof. Ends was already meeting, okay. <laughs> the end was already me. You was already living. You was holding on by a thread. That thread is getting thinner and thinner. You know, the Hegelian dialect: pressure from above, pressure from below. Literally, <laughs> Esau is bringing that pressure from down on down here, and your Halbush and your is bringing that pressure from above. You know, he's the perfect he's, he's the perfect chess player. Your Halbush and your Shai played a long game. And he gives you rope to hang yourself. Can't say he's not long suffering. You can't say it, but he's not slack as some men count slackness. And and the doors of mercy about to slam shut in a lot of your faces. And I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, Yahweh Hamashiach, shall he find faith on the earth? Why? Because it's gonna be that bad out there. It's gonna get nasty. A lot of you that say you have faith, we gonna see in that day, cause you want you been you finna be tested beyond your imagination, your wildest imagination. You know, hey, that's what, hey man, <laughs> and you can see it now. You got <laughs> ain't nothing happening yet, and you already talk, you already you already looking for a loophole. <laughs> you already looking for a loophole. Ain't no fucking loopholes, man. Ain't no gray areas over here. You either gonna <laughs> serve your how about him how is shy. Or you're going to serve Esau. You're going to bow to this system and take that mark. And a lot of you going to fold. But guess what? Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice. If any man or woman or child. It don't matter. Because you're how much you mean how shy. It's not a respect of persons. And guess what? <laughs> the slain of the Lord is about to be many. He about to get busy. Because the Lord is angry. And a lot of you, he he he, he want to destroy a lot of you. That's why he's blinded you. At least you hear and see with your eyes, you know, and be converted and healed. He don't want to heal a lot of you. You're the same wicked motherfuckers that said, "Let the sin, let 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 that blood fall upon us and our children," and you about to reap what you sow. You know, you about you about to eat your words, man. Yahweh want to kill, slaughter two thirds of his own people. You gonna be all right though. <laughs> You come back to, in the kingdom through the loins of the elect, you know, in your right mind, you know. But you're gonna have to go. You're gonna have to go through that death by pain on this side. I don't want no parts of that. We don't want no parts of that. That's why we give diligence. You know, this ain't no game, man. You play with your woman. You play with your children. You play with yourself. But you don't play with your how about you? How was shy, man? You don't tempt the Lord. You don't. A lot of you don't know who you're dealing with, man. You don't know who you're dealing with. And the third angel followed behind them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast, you bow to this system that they're setting up, this new world order, you ain't gonna be able to operate. You ain't be able to you, you're not you're not gonna be able to do nothing without that karagma in you. You see the precursor that that, that jump shot, that was a, that was Esau was testing the temperature. You ain't gonna be able to go into no fucking stores. You ain't gonna be able to buy nothing without it. We all know you can't buy or sell. You're not going to be able to uh, go into any DMVs, any courthouse, any any government building. You ain't, it's going to be like demolition, man. You're going to have to be living under the ground. <laughs> That's why the Lord said in them times, you're going to be as pilgrims in the earth. You're not going to be able to operate in a society without it. You ain't going to be able to drive. You ain't going to be able to do nothing without that karagma. All right? And a lot of you going to resist. A lot of you going to buck up. That's why he got to bring, he got to, he got to bring that squeeze. He got to bring the chaos. That's why he's burning up all these goddamn uh, food pantries and these these warehouses. You know, he, <laughs> it's all orchestrated. It's, it's all by design. 
Pressure from above, pressure from below. Order out of chaos. You know? And then what's that? What's what's gonna be the solution? That karagma. It's nigh. The five G towers, they're it's nigh. Everything's set. The infrastructure's set. Everybody's prepped, you know? And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark, that karagma, that RFID microchip, that MOTB, if you take that, you will be destroyed. Worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, right? Verse 10, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured without mixture into the cup of his indignation, his righteous anger. Because there's no excuses. The blood is off our hands. Right? And he shall, it says, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and the and in the presence of the lamb. All right? Um, and the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever. And they have no rest, day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth his mark, receiveth the mark of his name. Okay? Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. All right? Patience meaning to endure, to suffer. All this hell we've been catching, all this ridicule, all this slander, you know? All the hell we've been catching is going to pay off, man. The Lord has been putting us through that fire to, you know, to get us right, getting out all them impurities, man. Gold is tried in the furnace, man. Acceptable men are tried in the furnace of affliction. We're going through the fire now so that way we don't have to go through it at the end. All right? By the hook of the crook, you're going to feel that fire. I'd rather go through the fire now. You see? Who the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. But if you go without chastisement, guess what? You'd be a bastard. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh. And the faith of Yah of Yahweh Shai. All right. And the just shall live by faith. We walk by faith, not by sight. We know so that we know faith goes into trust. We trust Yahweh Yahweh Shai. We know some way, shape, or form, he's gonna make a way. He's gonna be he's gonna make a way for us to escape. He's not gonna put more on us than we can bear. All right? And, and even, even if we gotta die, so be it. Though he slay me, we'll keep that integrity, we'll keep that trust in him. Okay, because what the dead in your house, we got the playbook, we got the script. We know, we know, we know what time it is. We understand your house, Shai Hamashiach. We understand your house, Shai Hamashiach. You see, be thou faithful unto death and we shall receive a crown of life, man. Death is mercy. We understand what happens when you die. You go back to the, to the, to the, uh, the spirit world. You know, your spirit goes back up to the father that created it, man. And you're resting. We all rest in the spirit world. And we're going to come back in them new bodies, them new abodes. Okay? The dead in Yahweh shall rise first. All right? So I'm going to close out here. I don't want to write this. I came together. I probably was all over the place. Like I said, I had, it was a lot, you know, in, on my mind. But again, man, the Lord is going to be with us, man. He's with us now. We didn't take that jump shot, right? We didn't take them jump shots. Guess what? We made it through the so-called pandemic. A lot of you folded. You took the jump shot. You, 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 you. You, you, you jabbed up your children. I look at you now. I look at you now. Got all type of fucking side effects. But we trusted you. How about you? How was shy? We kept that faith. You know? You know? Hey, man. Psalms 91 and 10. Um, I start at 7. A thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000. Hey, people going to be dropping like flies, baby. They're going to be dropping. Whole household's going to be slaughtered. Whole family's going to be destroyed, man. You know, why? Because they know this word has gone out. Your cousins, your aunties, your best friends, your neighbors, they all know, man. They all, your co-workers, they all know, you know, they may not know the whole truth, but they know enough, they know enough to be destroyed that, you know, they've been marked, you know, you, you saw one of these videos, you scroll past it, you walk by one of the men, you, you, you scoffed, you scorned, you fanned your hand at it. It doesn't matter. You're marked. The word of the Lord don't go out void. It shall accomplish that which he pleaseth. You know, that's the importance of being diligent and going out there to the highways and the byways, to them lanes, bidding people to the marriage, warning them. If we didn't go out there, guess what? Like the Lord said, there would be no cloak for your sins. But we went out there. It's like there'd be a cloak for your sins. You could say, I didn't know. But we went out there diligently. 
been out there, starting from the elders, even before the elders, man. Abba, someone, Abba. Elder Abba Vivens, man. He died in the truth. The dead in Yahweh shall rise first. They've been out there since, what, 1969, I believe. That's what uh, ISUPK likes to uh, boast about. You know, you've had a long, the Lord is long suffering, man. I remember as a young man, this word wasn't out there like that. It's, the Lord magnified this truth. It's on the forefront. It's on, so, it's everywhere, man. You know, so he, he, hey, he gonna, he gonna destroy this place. He gonna destroy a lot of you too. A thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee and not gonna come near us. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. We know the wicked, the wicked is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man per Malachi 1 and 4. But guess what? Two thirds of our own people are wicked as hell, you know? They were the same ones that had, that had us put to death in the past. You know, they would have us put to death in this time. But guess what? We ain't in them times. The Lord said, you're gonna, your eyes are going to see your teachers. We're not going to be shoved in the corner anymore. The Lord, hey, the Lord is beautiful, man. Call her Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Barakatha Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I don't want to write this out. We keep enduring to the end. We keep that faith, you know? Because thou has, it says, only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. We're going to see them dying. We're going to see, we're going to see them dropping like flies. We, like we see it now. We see them catching hell. And they don't have, they have no, <laughs> there's no, they have no answers. Because they, they, they're, they're made lies their refuge. They've been trusting in lies. You know, you know. Because thou has made the Lord Yahweh, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Okay? That's, that's that. You're going to see it, man. You know, we're going to eat in them time. They're going to starve. We're going to eat. You know, we're going to be good. Second as a 16, read the whole chat. Second as a 15, second as a 16, Matthew 24. You know it already. For there shall be in every place, and in the, because this is a global thing, it's a global reset. That's why you see the pound falling. Europe is Europe is about to catch hell with that Nordic uh, pipeline. You know, it's about to be a dark winter over there, cold winter over there. You know, beautiful, beautiful times, man. For there shall be in every place and in the next city is a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Because really Esau, what, what does it say? Revelation 12 and 12. He's going to come down with great wrath knowing that he has but a short time. He really got a problem with the truthers. The ones of us that are bringing out this truth, exposing his ass, you know, you know, we're on that red list, man. And the, like I said, he's watching you. You watching the videos. You think he don't know you got, you made your little fake account. He knows, man. He knows exactly what you're doing. The algorithm is watching. You, you got agents watching you all around you, you know, especially the men of the Lord, the prophets, you best believe agents is around you. And I ain't talking about alphabet boys. I'm talking about high up work straight on straight for the Illuminati. Straight for the wicked elite. They watching you. They keeping tabs on you. Shadow banning you. Fucking with you. You know? They might be at your job. They might be your neighbors. You don't even know. That's how this devil works. Go watch Gangland. Go watch uh go watch uh <laughs> what else? Uh with that movie I always tell the brother about um In Too Deep. A lot of you gonna be <laughs> you gonna be like LL Kool-Aid, you know? You couldn't believe that um um Omar Epps was an agent, you know? A lot of agents in this truth, man, in all the camps, a lot of agents, a lot of spies, you know, and just wicked ass men, you know, but it's your job to discern between the righteous and the wicked. It's your job, man. The Lord said, um, accept no man against thy soul. That's in, I believe that's in Ecclesiasticus, accept no man against thy soul. The Lord gave you the spirit to discern. Sometimes you feel something ain't right with a brother, probably because he ain't right. You got to be able to trust that, man. You know? Trust that, man. It says, They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods. A lot of you also, I was thinking about a lot of you, um, thinking you, know, you prepping. You got, you know? <laughs> you don't know there's books, there's laws on the, on the book where you can't hoard, anti-hoarding acts. They're going to go door to door and take whatever you have, man. Whatever resources you have, this come evil times, man. <laughs> For 
for they shall waste it says for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses this is the main point though then shall be known who are my chosen and they shall be tried as gold in the fire acceptable men are tried in the gold tried in the furnace of affliction all right we're going to be tried but guess what the gold, we're going to shine we're going to shine in that day it's going to be obvious it's going to be obvious who the lord is with when they dropping like flies and nothing's happening to you they is you're just gonna just just your whole your whole uh continent is gonna show that the lord is with you these people are gonna right now they look defeated they look defeated they look miserable they're miserable they're living a facade they're putting on for the for the gram for the book they putting on for people man these people are miserable you know man beautiful times then shall be then shall they be known who are my chosen and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. It says, um, Hear, O ye, ho, hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, I don't want. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. But not all of Jacob, only the elect, the remnant, a remnant shall return. O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, I don't want. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. And a lot of you going to be, your mind is going to overthrow you. You want to have a sound mind in them times, man. That's why you give diligence to make your calling and election sure. You don't want to be a coulda, woulda, shoulda, nigga. Coulda, woulda, I shoulda went out there. I know, I, you know, could, oh man, you're gonna, you your mind is going to, them demons are going to plague you. Them doubt demons. You know, is the Lord with me? Is the Lord with me? You, you're going to be doubting, man. You don't want to have that spirit on you. Right now, the Lord, if you if you if you if you um doing what you're supposed to be doing, you're gonna be catching hell, and the Lord's gonna be delivering you. And every time you catch hell and He delivers you, that builds your faith, your trust in Him. So how much more so in end times, man? You know, the Lord always shows you that that He's with you. You know. So it's a here it says, um, "Here, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, I don't want. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same." Be ye neither afraid, neither doubt. We don't. We have no fear, because we know nothing can happen to us unless Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai deems it so. All right, nothing goes down without the say so of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, you see, you see. I trust all our eggs are in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All our eggs are in that basket. That's why when that storm hit, we were cool. We were calm as a pickle. Okay, cool as a pickle, on the phone laughing. You know. Hey, we're going to laugh in the fate in destruction, man. We're going to laugh. We're going to laugh in that day, man. <laughs> They're going to think something's wrong with us, you know? Be not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your guide and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts. Again, you got to have works, you know? To much is given, much is required, all right? If you're an able-bodied man, you have sound mind, you know, you understand this truth, you better get your ass out there and push and teach and warn the people. Get your story up some righteous works, some righteous acts. Get that blood off your hands. You don't want to, you don't want to, you want to have a sound mind in that day. And a guy, and, and the ones of you that just believe, hey, nothing wrong with being a believer. It's a lot of believers, innumerable multitude of believers. But you better rehearse the righteous acts. You better keep them laws to the best of your ability. Try to keep the high holy days, keep the Sabbath, keep the dietary laws. It's things you, things you can do within your control. We can't keep all the law, can't keep the law perfectly, but you can try your best. You know, where you fall short at, that's where grace comes in. You know, be not overrighteous much. At least you destroy yourself. It's balance, you know, but you try, man. You try and you pray, Pr always pray, you fast, you know. You know, you, you know all the tools, you know, and how much more so in the, seeing the times to come. Evil days are on the horizon, man. You know, like I said, I believe the end of the, the, the end of the the end of this year is, is going to be. I believe the year is going to end with a bang, you know, through the spirit. The Lord is turning up, man. He's turning up. He's forcing this devil's hand. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. For Yahweh is your guide and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, save the Lord Yahweh. Let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. All right. So, hey, with that being said, I don't want to write the Zod came together and it made sense, you know. 
Hey, man, keep pushing, keep fighting the good fight of faith. We're close, we're close, man. Victory is nigh. Shalom. Wa abad babo. Kwam yasharala.